Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Catman and Joe and welcome back to another brand new video. Today ladies and gentlemen, I'm back once again with another brand new video on the Minecraft How to Build the Minigame Lobby series guys. Today we're on episode 7 of our little journey and today I'm going to teach you guys all how to build the first of one of the many, sorry, one of the first of many houses inside the minigame lobby. Now this did take me a while to replicate and rebuild since, you know, this has got a lot of steps towards it and this is going to take me quite a while as well just to build all the little steps for you guys to learn how to build this. But I'm determined on building this and I hope you guys do go to enjoy the video. Now before I actually get into it and show you guys how to build this awesome little building please 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 be sure to drop a like and show your appreciation down below also if you're new to the channel why not subscribe it also helps out a bunch and if you want to help out your friends find out about this and also help your friends build this be sure to share this video with them and also share your love with them as well other than that guys thank you and welcome back to another brand new video all right guys so getting straight into the tutorial we are going to have 15 big and huge and crazy complicated steps in a sense they aren't too complicated i just want to say it real quick these are not very like hardcore to understand but I'm sure we're going to have a few difficulties along the way. And if you guys do have any difficulties building this um, at any point through the video, please do not feel shy. Comment down below telling me what your problem is or, you know, what part of the building you didn't really understand too well. And I'll try and explain it maybe the best I can and try and help you out the best I can. If I don't manage to contact you in the comment section, though, maybe try, you know, I know, tweeting at me on Twitter because I'm more active on there than really I am sometimes in the comment section. So, yeah, uh, I just want to say it real quick. Now, I just want to say, I already said it in the clip there, this did take us a considerable, a considerable amount of time to make genuinely this took us hours it seemed uh, or it didn't seem big shout out to kiwi gamer by the way this took us about maybe two or three hours to make all 15 of these steps that go all the way up to the final part over here and at the very end of it guys this is what you will be left with um it doesn't look that good here i know well it looks okay but i know it doesn't look the exact same as it does on the mini games but that's actually just because it doesn't have the surroundings around it and also this actually isn't made for just being on ground height this is made to be like above ground on the pillars like what you saw back there at the very beginning but yeah, let's start with step one. So step one is fairly simple. You're going to need just a really simple piece of space. Um, to be specific, you're going to need a five by, I believe, nine. Uh, a five wide and a nine long. And you want to just start off with this kind of pattern like this here. Now, this is how it should look pretty much instantly. If you guys are wondering as well why there's cobblestone underneath, this is just our base. You guys do not want this, uh, but I just use cobblestone as like a base. So, you know, we could, you know, me and Kiwi, we could kind of work from that and keep building up above that and uh, just making it a little bit more easier for you guys to understand. But what you want to really do as well, by the way, is at the back here, this will be your entrance in here. Um, this will actually always be like one block above the normal ground height. Because, as I said, imagine, you know, this cobblestone part isn't meant to be here. This is just here for like to show us where we're meant to build above. Um, so right now, you know, this would technically be the ground height where I'm standing on right now, so you'd walk here into the door. So just in case anyone's wondering real quick, I just wanted to give that a quick little explanation there. But you will want to add in your doors and do this kind of thing first. Now moving on to step two. Step two is kind of where it starts to add some more little bits of uh, detail in here. Um, step two is, you know, fairly simple, guys. It is just adding in some oak wood above all the oak wood that was currently there in the first step, and also adding uh, above your cobblestone on the side there. You want to add some uh, some oak wood planks right here, here, and all the way around. As you, you can all see it right now, it's pretty, it's you know, fairly simple. I'll go right here like this so you can see it from out top kind of view. Um, and basically, the reason why we have these kind of cobblestone stairs point like this, I don't know, I think it's just to get in a general design for the windows, as you can see over here. The windows look a little bit better, I feel, like this, um, although there's like a gap in between them, if you look very, like, carefully, you can actually see there's a small little gap in between them, but it ain't that bad. But I think it actually makes the windows look really nice, so I'm just saying that's personal why I like it, but that is actually a proper design as well from the minigames lobby as well. Um, inside the actual on the second step, you know, you have a little checkered carpet here and uh, this is how it should look So if you imagine you're coming from the entrance, this is how it should look like this uh, You also have a little chair here for like, uh, you know, beginning of a table uh, Some ladders here and a furnace and yeah, that's pretty much you for the second step Now moving on to the third step the third step again is just carrying on adding on more stuff Really on this build and I'm being honest here guys. There is just a bunch of repetition. This build really just has a lot of repetition uh, a lot of repetitive steps kind of thing you really are just adding on to what you've already done um, and you know there's obviously a few times where it's not you're actually making new stuff but a vast majority of the time you're really just adding on to what you have uh, already previously done so as you can see here for step I believe number three uh, again as I said we're just adding on you just want to add on oak wood and uh, the planks pretty much above where you've done them last time and above the actual cups and stairs you want to add one light blue stained glass uh, panes of course not the actual proper glass uh, just the panes because the panes look a lot thinner and that's actually what is used in the mini games as well uh, you want to add some grey carpet here, uh, just here, like, I don't know, like this, because it looks pretty good. It kind of looks like a little bit of a table. I personally wouldn't have done this if it was me designing the actual, uh, like, interior of this little house. But this is what the minigame one looks like, and this is what you guys are probably here to look for. Uh, over here above the furnace, you want to add a little brewing stand, and that's pretty much it. You also want to add a door like this. So it basically will not be pointing like normal, where normally the door would be like this. Well, let me just do this real quick. So normally I would have my doors like this, and, you know, you open it like that. But for this one, you what you are going to want to do is have it like this. 
So it's kind of like the wrong way around in a sense. I know it, it looks kind of weird to be honest, but I think that's, you know, I'm guessing what they were just trying to go for when they were designing this. Uh, but yeah, moving on to step number four now. This is a little bit more kind of adding on some more detail now. What you're going to want to do is around all the oak wood that you've already added on, you're going to add on another layer above that. Same with oak planks, no wood, kind of just like what we've previously done. Um, you also want to add a glass pane again. So you've got two glass panes, like two glass windows even, uh, light blue glass panes above each other like this. So it should look like this pretty much. It's all perfect. Uh, and then on the actual oak wood on the edges, you want to add one spruce wood stair. Uh, upside down of course all the way around uh, on all the oak wood as well kind of like to hide the oak wood behind it um, but it kind of adds a little bit of, like a two-tone effect and i think it personally looks really good you also want to add one little torch because this is actually really strangely this um and the building itself only had one torch in the entire design kind of confusing kind of weird if you ask me but i know i'm guessing that's just what they were you know going for them sense so yeah you want to do that now now we're moving on to i believe step five now this is where it kind of starts to get a little bit more tricky because what you're doing now is you are no longer working on the first floor we've completely and utterly done the first floor now we're going to be working on the second and then we're going to go all the way up to the third because there is three floors to this building and the third one also includes the roof and uh, the bedding or the you know in a sense like that yeah the bedding area in a sense now for the third floor this is how it should look on the inside you want to use spruce slabs and you want to turn them into a roof here uh, it should look like this on. It should look like this on the inside. If you want to just have a quick little peek, obviously at the screen, you can see this is how it should look. And above as well, this is how it will look like this. Now, also, what you want to do as well is just a little an extra bonus. Uh, I didn't actually notice we done this on all these ones, but you want to add spruce wood stairs like this, so it kind of adds like an archway kind of design. Uh, this is in between all the oak. Uh, you want to add an oak wood log onto every single uh, spruce stair, like basically. So if you go back to step number four here, you can see we got the spruce stairs here and here, and you know all in the corners and stuff. You want to add one spruce log, uh, one oak wood log, sorry, above each one of them, and then you want to just connect them pretty much all together with oak wood behind that, and then also add the stairs like this. I'm sure you guys can get it. It's pretty self-explanatory and it is pretty easy. Now step number six, we are again adding in some more detail to the first floor. There's not a lot, that we, or sorry, the second floor. There's not really a lot that goes into it, but again, it's just, you know, the same as downstairs. You have a little checker carpet here. Uh, you have two furnaces and a crafting bench. I don't know why, but I'm guessing that's just in case you don't need them two furnaces, you know. Uh, you never know when you will. Uh, for the actual part here, what you want to do is you want to get your oak wood log. Now, actually, can I show you guys how to do this real quick? So, as I said, by now, you should have built up from this twice, and then you should have them like this, and you should have gap here. You want to just simply just connect them like that all the way around, and you should do that all the way around so it looks like this pretty much from above, and it should look like this from all the way around the sides. It looks really good, honestly, already. You can already see it's kind of like starting to take form, and it already does look, as I said, pretty decent. Uh, you want to also add some uh, two little spruce wood stairs here and also add a spruce wood fence to kind of make another little table. We're going to make one up here, of course. I guess this would be like the, I don't know, maybe not dining room, but like the lounge or something of the house. I'm not too sure what this is supposed to be. Again, I can only kind of like give my own, I don't know, two cents on what I think it is. But uh, I know you kind of have to ask the makers of this minigame lobby to, you know, tell you what it really is. Uh, also here you want to add a oak wood slab upside down like this so it kind of i know it looks like a bit of a table or a shelf this is actually going to have a plant pot a plant pot above it over there as you can see and uh yeah once you guys do that that will pretty much be you ready to go now moving on to step number seven i believe this is a part where as i said we're kind of building up above the original side and after that is really just a lot of repetition so don't worry there's not a lot of hard work after this um there still is a few difficult ones but not a lot what you want to do here is you want to add a grey carpet, uh, or yeah, well, grey carpet above here to make this look like a table. You want to add a plant, a, pl a plant pot, and an actual plant, of course. Any you know orchid in general, or any flower in general, uh, any flower in general. I just used a blue orchid because that's actually what they use in the mini game ones, so I kind of want to keep it as like close to the original as possible. Uh, you also want to add some cobblestone stairs or some cobblestone, sorry, fences or something, or cobble is it cobblestone fences or cobblestone wall? Yeah, cobblestone walls above uh, the furnaces kind of thing. I don't know why. Uh, they do this but again it's just one of those little designs and above the three oak wood logs that went like diagonal across you want to add like this kind of little design it's you know the exact same pretty much as what we've done down here in a sense uh, but you're just adding it up here now and also you want to just add up the oak wood logs on the, like all like this all the way around uh, i'm sure you've already done this as well pretty much adding your ladders because this is what will take us up to the third floor the third floor isn't really like a floor itself um it's more or less i wouldn't exactly call it a floor i'd call it more or less something like a I know, like just your bedroom kind of thing, because this is more like your chill out area where maybe you like eat your dinner, cook it, um, you know, you know, you can relax downstairs, and then you've got like your bedroom upstairs. Now, step number eight, we're pretty much halfway there now, guys. Uh, this again is just adding on now. You're really going to start doing a lot of repetition after this. What you want to do is above the cobblestone walls or the cobblestone itself, you want to add some oak wood all the way around like this, and then you want to get your blue stained uh, panes again, I believe, and light blue, sorry, stained panes, and add them in between them like that, so it should look like, like it should look like that all the way around. Um, except from over here, behind the part that actually has the furnaces, you want to keep this part clear. In the minigame lobby, I don't know why, but they had this part clear, I think it's to jump out the window to get onto one of the actual minigame lobby parts. 
and it's like a secret area it's not secret but it is more or less kind of like some area that you can jump onto and sorry about that guys had to kind of cut off there for a second just uh what's i had to go do something but uh right anyway so going back where we're i think we're on step number seven or sorry step number eight we're on there that's what i was showing you guys and now we're going to be going on step number nine uh one more quick look at step number eight though if you haven't already again it is as i said it's just a lot of repetition to be honest and um, that's the thing with a lot of these, like with a lot of these builds and that's the thing that i get a lot of comments people saying you know it's just a lot of the same kind of thing you know you're doing over and over and over again but it's one of those things a lot of people know how to do it but it's just actually doing it that's the problem you know what i mean i noticed this myself when it comes to building and um, like I, anyone can really build these kind of things anyone can copy anyone can do all these things it's just really finding the motivation to want to do it it is a lot of effort having to come back and forth from the minigame lobby though however even trying to do this i can assure you that's what i have to do to make these videos but you know if i do this and i make these videos it makes it a lot easier for you guys and that's what my whole kind of like uh, idea behind this is pretty much and that's why i do this kind of thing but uh, yeah, so step number eight, this is how it should look now. Uh, you want to also add a cobblestone stair above your cobblestone walls. Uh, again, it's, I don't know why they do this. It's a weird little design they have. And uh, yeah, this is how it should look on the inside. Now, step number nine, I believe this is. I think this is step number nine. Yeah, step number nine. And um, what we're going to be doing now is kind of capping this area off, I, I, you know, as I call it. Now, if you're a familiar person on this channel, you know what capping off means. That kind of means like putting on like the... Uh, you know the cap in a sense kind of putting on the top layer and kind of getting it done in a sense and that's really what we're moving on to now we're going to be doing the bedroom and then the roof really the roof itself is very simple um this is pretty much the final really major in a sense or, or major hard part in a sense uh but yeah for this part what you want to do is for your ninth layer um above obviously your previous part over here you want to add another oak wood uh planks some more oak wood planks uh or some more oak planks in general above the current ones that you've already placed down and then on top of them you want to add another upside down cobblestone stair to make it look like this i know it looks a little bit weird again i personally even said that i was like you know why did they do it like this but again it's you know it's the makers of this you know the makers of the minecraft battle mode or the minecraft uh, minigame lobby in general they had a quite a few strange designs but i suppose that's what made it um as popular and as good as it is today so yeah and then what you also want to do is add in these upside down kind of spruce stairs all the way around the oak wood on the top as well like this and um, this is how it should look on the front and it should look pretty much the exact same on the back here now once you guys have done this real quick then here this is the part that's going to get a little bit you know maybe a little bit more complicated for some of you guys but real quick what you want to do is you should be able to check that you have got four ladders basically so it goes you know one two three four that's how high you're going to be going to your bedroom okay so you're going to come upstairs from down you know you're going to the bottom floor middle floor that we are standing on right now and then you're going to come up here to the, your top floor which will be your bedroom you may want you may be wondering why we have this glowstone um it's just because it's actually what is in the original mini game one as well uh, if you come down here as you can see you put trap doors and stuff down here i'll actually show you guys how to do this as well real quick basically above here though this is how it should look like this so just try and imagine this or you know maybe, maybe even pause this here so you can you know get this kind of general image in your head um, you have your oak wood going straight up all the way from the floor to there and then you want to have your oak wood going sideways from there to there and then uh, underneath what you want to do is this you want to use slabs but do like a little kind of like a weird it's kind of like an arrow head or something i'd say uh, do like three at the back here and then do one in front of that so it connects out with the oak wood pillar and then just use pretty much proper oak wood planks so they stick down a bit more uh use three actually you put three on this side like this as you can see here and then just put a trap door there put two on the side and put glows on here so basically when it's at night time it will actually light up the room and give you some lighting and um, this is very like not it's not very well lit and in fact to be honest this build i don't know why but the actual makers of the uh, minigame lobby obviously because enemies cannot spawn in there they decide to make it very on um, you know very not well lit so it's kind of weird honestly in my personal opinion i'd probably add more light but if you just want to make it as close to the original as possible just make it like this this is exactly how i done it so yeah so once you've done this we'll be moving on to i believe step number 10 now so we've only got five more steps after that and that's pretty much the roof we are honestly working on the roof right now step number 10 uh, but what you want to do up here is this is the part where you're kind of adding in your bedroom right so above the glowstone that you originally placed down there as you can see it's pretty much here like this and uh, what you want to do is you want to put an enchantment table there you also want to put a bed here and uh, obviously here kind of like as a railing support so when you're up in your bed you, you know you don't want to be up in your bed and then just instantly be like yep <laughs> fill, you know just fall right off here and just kind of hurt yourself real bad so what you want to do is you want to add some railings in uh, you want to add a i think it's got oak wood fence gate I believe that's name yeah oak uh, an oak fence gate and uh you want to add one there and one there and then you also want to add an oak wood fence here and here it's kind of give it this nice little design it kind of looks a bit more like a balcony of some sort in a sense um personally i would not design a room like this but of course you know this is just minecraft and then uh, you want to add one more oak you want to add uh, another oak log above all the current oak logs that you've done before so as you can see here like we've got all these oak logs there and there 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 all the way around the corners and stuff you want to just add another one above all them and like i said before kind of just cap it off as you can see here i kind of capped it off there uh, obviously for this part here I, I don't think i actually done it for this one by accident but of course you want to add a cobblestone stair here to kind of like make this area a little bit more hidden 
Or wait, no, wait. No, no, sorry. No, you don't. Sorry. My, my mistake. My mistake, everyone. Uh, but yeah, you want to just kind of cap it off and make it look like this. And then above the spruce wood um, stairs that you've done here, what you want to do is you want to add a row of oak wood stairs. These are going to be for your roof. You don't want to make them go any further than here. You want to keep them like this, just from the very first oak wood uh, or spruce wood stair that you put upside down all the way to the very other, or the, all the way to the other oak wood or spruce, uh, sorry, all the way to the other spruce wood stair that you put upside down. Do that on both sides and it should look really, really, really good. It should, it should look like this, sorry, from the building by now if you've done it correctly. And then on the sides here, if you may be wondering what this is, this is actually going to be the, in a sense, kind of like the railings that go up the side of the house. Um, what you basically want to do is you want to get a stone brick and place it so like here basically. So at the side of your stairs, it looks like this. And then in front of that, you want to place a cobblestone stair. And then behind or the side of this, you want to pay, you want to place an upside down, uh, what's it, stone brick stair. That's a lot to say. I'm gonna, Guys, I am getting so caught up in my words here right now. <clears throat> there we go. Ah, take a breath there. Yeah, sorry about that guys. But yeah, you want to pretty much just do that on this side and on this side over here And then obviously make it so it looks like this you guys I'm sure you can see it right now pretty self-explanatory and do the exact same on the opposite side as well Then for the next floor you're kind of going to be starting to kind of close in and close in your actual roof itself uh, This is obviously floor number 11 You want to keep doing the exact same design as you've done before it, you know, like over here You want to add another obviously you got your uh, what's it stone brick stair or you sorry your stone brick here You want to add one there and then one above that there and then add another cobblestone uh, stair and then underneath here you should have it looking like this as well again i don't know why they made it look like this the design but obviously this was just what they were kind of going for so yeah who's to judge um obviously as well above here you want to add another set of uh, oak wood stairs coming from the left side to the right side like this so it should look pretty much the exact same as the first floor and basically what will happen here is this so this is something i noticed that i thought it was pretty clever uh, because the stairs are now here obviously the like the oak wood obviously isn't carrying up now so the design would just look like this if you don't add anything so if i was you do what they've done in the mini game as well add your spruce wood stair upside down here here and here and do the exact same on the other side as well and it actually adds in a really nice kind of design it looks really good now moving on to i believe the 12th out of the 15th now again we don't have much further to go once again you're just doing the exact same adding the railings on the side as you can see there this is how it should look so far uh, adding another row of oak wood uh, what's it stairs kind of thing and then also adding another set of spruce wood stairs upside down so it kind of means like it looks like the roof from the inside is also going like up the way as well it's kind of getting like a bit more of a slant as well uh, which is you know this is what you're going for and then on number 13, on the 13th floor, sorry, even I should say, uh, you want to, in a sense, kind of just cap off the top now. You really are just capping off the top. You're going to add, you're going to do the exact same what you've done before with the railings. Uh, you're just going to add it on here pretty much. And you're going to also put another layer of oak wood down. And then in the middle, what you should be able to do is you should actually be able to connect this all the way from here, all the way over to here. If I didn't already previously say, I do apologize, but you want to add in this as well here above the oak wood this is how this is how it should look from the back of the actual building itself like right now you want to have like a layer of oak wood here kind of thing and then you also want to just put you know after this one here and what you should do is if you've done this correctly this part here should be able to connect all the way to the other side over there um that's in a sense pretty much you so once you've also done this you want to also add a slab here to kind of in a sense fully like clean this area off and sharpen it all up and make it look really good and this is how it should look from underneath here uh, if I go to the side here, you can see this is how it should look from above as well. It looks really good, honestly, in my opinion. I did look a little bit weird bowling it, but it does look really, really, really good. Now, for the final one, guys, you just want to add in another cobblestone stair here. And you also want to add a stone brick also here. And then also, obviously, do the exact same on the other side. And just do fence gate, uh, fence, fence gate, fence, fence gate, fence, fence gate, fence, fence gate. Um, and it should look like this. So you have basically right in the middle, you have a fence gate. And then you have two fences beside that. Fence gate, fence gate, two fences. You guys get it. Pretty self-explanatory. And then of course for the very final and last part all you want to do is add on these tight these top little kind of tiny little details here i don't know if these might be like chimneys or if they're just add, meant to add some extra kind of like uh, aesthetics to the design but you want to just get a cobblestone wall and just place that right above the stone bricks and that will pretty much be you guys you will have the entire thing completely finished and done now this will probably be one of the longest tutorials i've actually done on this before or ever pretty much guys because uh, this was a pretty big one i said 15 steps is more steps than what i've ever done on any of the other kind of builds for the minigame series or and it really i think will be probably one of the biggest for quite a while until we maybe move on to another big step but guys i just want to say these videos are really hard to make it really genuinely takes a lot of me having it does take a sorry a lot out of me having to make these videos you know i have to spend a long time making all these and kind of getting all this stuff done so i hope you guys do go and appreciate it really um, and if you guys do as always you know please be sure to drop a like down below also if you're new to the channel please be sure to subscribe also because i said it helps out a bunch 
you know show your support as well share these videos if you have any social medias of your own why not share the videos there help get some extra views on these videos also help them get a little bit more publicly known and as i said if you guys are enjoying these videos the more views and the more likes and the more better ratings it gets the more videos i'll make you know pretty much all the time but you guys other than that thank you for watching another brand new video as always as i said if you did go to enjoy it please be sure to like comment and subscribe of course all that kind of stuff you know what to do and uh you guys other than that thank you for watching today's video i'll see you on tomorrow's and peace out guys